Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we are doing an open reading to see what you need to hear right now. And I love this kind of reading because we don't know what's going to come up. We leave it open to see what it is that you need to hear right now. What are the cards going to show us? So to do this reading, we're going to be picking three piles together. And there's something interesting about the decks that we're using today. I did not pick any of them. It was actually my niece who suggested that she wanted to pick them. So I let her do that. Um, she picked the tarot decks. And then after picking the tarot decks, I told her we need Oracle. She doesn't know what that is. She kept pulling other tarot decks. But every time she would put pull out an oracle i would say wonderful <laughs> uh, except for one today i had this one out because i'm currently studying it at the moment and she suggested it so i'm going to use it as i've been using it the last couple of days uh, i'll pull one card as a tarot slash oracle okay so this is what's going on today i wonder what the combination of these decks are going to give us i totally felt that uh uh, the universe was picking it for our reading today. So happy about that. And let's reveal the piles. For pile number one, whoa, you have mortification, for pile number two, you have sulfur, And for pile number three, you have rotation. If you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the beautiful selenite. For pile number two, you have the beautiful Mookite Jasper. And for pile number three, you have the beautiful yellow Aventurine. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to. And this or these will be the piles for you here today. If you feel drawn to more than one pile or more than one crystal, maybe you're even drawn to all of the piles today. In that case, please note that these as well will be your piles. You're, you can absolutely check them out and claim them as yours. Um, it is your intuition that it always guides you to the right reading. So listen to it, whether it's drawing you to just one and you know that's it, that's the one, or maybe you're drawn to several and you know, ah, I feel like I'm actually drawn to these different piles or different crystals, maybe even all of them. Sometimes it happens, uh, even with me, with all of us. Sometimes we're like, no, that's my pile. Sometimes we're like, I actually feel all of them or I actually feel this and that. And uh, some of you even... Some of you even know the order <laughs> in which you're going to watch your piles. You're like this, this, and this, and in that specific order. And it turns out exactly what you need to hear. So, so amazing. So it's all up to you and how you feel about it. I love pick a cards because they um, allow us the chance to tune in to our intuition and hear it and see what we feel. And uh, it takes us to our piles. It's it's really awesome. So my dear soul family, these are the three piles. Once you're ready, please head down to the description box, click on your times, and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I'm about to assign zodiac signs for every pile. If this is something that you do not like, please pause the video, take as much time as you need, 
and I'll see you in your reading. But if you do love picking with your zodiac signs, which is something that I also love doing sometimes as well, <laughs> then this section is specifically for you. I'm going to place four zodiac signs in each of the piles. Uh, after shuffling it. So let's begin our shuffling process. I shuffle them around and then I pick up four crystals for each pile. All right. I think that's enough. All right. So let's take four. One, two. Are these four? Yeah, these are four. So for pile number one, you have the signs Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, and Aquarius. For pile number two, we have Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, and Cancer. As for pile number four, we have the signs Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, and Virgo. So these are the zodiac signs for each pile. You can go by your rising, your sun, or your moon, or even the three. Once you're ready, please head down to the description box, click on your time stamps, and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at what message you need to hear right now. It is an open tarot reading, meaning we don't know what we're going to get, what message you're meant to get, what is it that you're meant to hear. Uh, and to do this reading, these are the decks that we will be using. It's really interesting because I did not pick any of these decks uh, actually, this one, she picked another chakra deck, but since she picked a chakra deck, I felt like this one would be uh, more in detail. That's that's the only difference. This one was out already outside because I'm studying it, and so she picked it. This is a tarot deck, but I'm going to use it as tarot slash oracle. Uh, I feel like um, it's a beautiful deck that I really love, so I'm happy it's included in your reading today. And, oh... Uh, let me introduce the crystals to you. If you chose your pile using your intuition, then your crystal is the beautiful selenite as well as the mortification card. But if you picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then the zodiac signs in that case are Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Welcome, guys, to your reading. If these are not your signs, please don't worry about it at all. Do know that they match the energies that we're going to see in your reading. Okay, so really exciting, excited. I feel like the universe totally chose the cards today <laughs> through my niece. Let's see what you get. And she said something so interesting before we we began your pile. She's like, she just started cool school. She's so she's like, Reem, is this like a class? Is this a test? I'm like, uh, kind of like a class. It's not really a class, but it's not, but it's not a test. And then she's like, no, no, this is a test. And I was like, no, it's not a test. But she said, no, this is a test. So I guess I'm taking that as a sign. <laughs> Let's see what how this fits into your reading today. I felt it very interesting that it popped up right before your pile. Okay, so <clears throat> I feel like everything has been guided outside of me in your reading today. I feel like uh, we've been receiving messages in your piles. Right, so before we begin, let's first see your cards. You have hunger, 
that yellow color definitely reminds me of the solar plexus, the Manipura. You have the third eye chakra, a balanced third eye chakra card with I see and learn from my experiences. Lovely. Okay. What about, what, what if we put it here? Definitely fits. I see and learn from it. This way we have space. And you have the chariot. We're going to be reading about what um, the deck creator has to say about their choices together. Very interesting deck. So let's see how it fits into your reading. And finally, let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the Four of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Interesting. The Emperor. And uh, I'm noticing a sequence. So two, three, and the emperor is a four. So maybe something in sequence. King of Cups. In sequence, things come closer. Closer to an end, closer to finish. We'll find out. King of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Very interesting. I'm getting a lot of wisdom in your reading here. Five of Swords. Mm. The Hierophant. The Guides here. I feel like you definitely have a strong message from your guides on your journey because of the cat in Alice in Wonderland as well as the genie or the genie worm caterpillar caterpillar you have the eight of wands interesting i feel like you're gonna get a message through your cards today that will help you move much faster than you are at something strong guidance today so you have one more card. I feel like we can check it out and put it to the side. If we push these up a little bit, we can definitely fit it in. So what do we have? Ah, the page of wands. Right, I, I really feel like I got a hit of inspiration that this is related to the page of wands. So. Let's see what this is. So with mortification, I feel like something went wrong in your life. Something that is important to you is starting to not work out. First guidance that I'm seeing is to, to stay calm and to not panic because with because I see with the chariot here that things are moving. Now, I want to make a disclaimer here. This is a pile for those who have, uh, because I uh, got a hit uh, of um, like a thought here in my head. Your guides are present in this reading to guide you on something you're already feeling a bit lost in. If you, in your life at the moment, there isn't something that you're worried about that isn't working out anymore then disclaimer this is not your pile this is not talking about the future this is guidance on what is already happening in your life and it's already and there's also advice that it's gonna like uh, work out very quickly for you so if you are feeling a little bit out of balance at the moment because you were kind of like working on something that you thought was going pretty well and all of a sudden you found something serious within it that's not really going well and all of a sudden you felt that with the five of pentacles here's the courthouse like big changes were made you found yourself in a different place than you were in at least 
how you thought it was going versus the feedback that it's giving to you. Uh, here we see the Queen of Swords going off with their heads because they've colored it in red instead of white. Uh, you can see that there are uh, precautions, repercussions to the mistakes or the things that aren't really going right that um, you were uh, that you thought were right, right? That you thought were absolutely fine. I have a message here from your guides. Do you see how the King of Cups is holding the cards and also your Eight of Wands? Don't worry. You're going to stay balanced, afloat. And in fact, the situation is going to dissipate quite quickly. And as I was saying that, I felt for a moment here that this looked like a video game. Um, I forgot the name. A video game. What is it called? Reporter? Um, remote control? I, ca I can't remember what it's called. So controller, right? So this gives me an idea that although things don't look like they're in your hands, they can fly off and uh, they, you can't catch them, you can't work on them. This is not true. You are in control of the situation. It's not as out of control as you think at all. Although the factor of shock and maybe losing something all of a sudden or getting repercussions about regarding something things sailing off all of a sudden is shocking you your guidance is to keep your cool uh, because first of all you have the power to do it with the solar plexus uh, uh, card i know it says hunger we'll talk about it in a moment with the solar plexus card i feel like it's saying you absolutely have the power to control the situation in your favor so stay calm and s take it as a chance to learn from what happened it's not gonna like it's not gonna take you down a path where you can't do anything any longer you know alice has become the queen in the story don't worry about it um you're going to be in a great position balanced and it is going to happen quickly for you what you're guided to do here, other than taking it slowly and calmly and to see, to stand in control, confident and grounded. The Hierophant, as well as the third eye, are talking about learning, taking this as a chance to learn from your experience. In fact, right next to the mortification, you have the Selenite. The Selenite is all about cleaning energy, cleaning the air everything being cleaned so this whole situation is going to dissipate and it's going to calm down and you are going to be moving forward don't worry about it pile number one this is honestly what i'm seeing and uh, i'm going to repeat my disclaimer if this is not happening in your life i promise you this is not your pile please check out another pile uh, this uh, re regarded as a pile that's taking you to another crystal or another uh, pile of cards to check out okay so now that we have this out of the way let's take a look at what the other author says about the chariot and i'll be back okay so these are the chambered nautilus and it says represents expansion strength and renewal which they need for the survival of their species they are currently on the endangered list don't be pro preoccupied with endings. Uh, rather, focus on the positive possibilities of today. Unbelievable. And tomorrow. So this is an urgent situation. Treat it as such and treat it with calmness and power. Do know that it is going to renew. It's not an ending. And here with the Page of Wands and the Solar Plexus with Hunger, treat it as something that can not just be fixed but can give you so much that you can make use out of the situation you can learn from it and make use to uh, out of it to do better the next time and to um maybe even make use of the situation exactly depending on how this resonates for you and take power with a page of wands be empowered although this is like very new to you 
um, you'll see that other people who have gone through a situation like this before do have the power to them it's like a piece of cake and they deal with it it's not so scary so it's kind of like imagine others who are telling you oh i've it happened before it happens a lot don't worry about it just focus on it and you're going to be able to fix it so I feel like this is what your cards are telling you. You're not the first one to get into a situation like that. Uh, many people get through it. Don't be shocked. Don't be afraid. Stand in your power. And your cards here are, are showing you that you will come out of it and you will be balanced. In fact, with the King of Cups, you will love this situation. So, yeah. In fact, I'm noticing with the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups that if you follow this guidance... Uh, you will feel grounded instead of like feeling shaky about it. And with the nine of cups, it will, that's why you have hunger. It will give you something that you absolutely love. So consider it something is like not working right, not because it's meant to die out or go wrong, but it's meant to alert you to take a different di uh, direction and do things in a different way, also empower you and allow you to see the power within the situation so that you can actually achieve what it is that you have in mind and do it in the way that you wanted with the Nine of Cups. In all cases, if you take control and stand in your power, this situation is going to move and it is going to clear for sure. It may look like it's decaying, but it's far uh, from that. It is actually taking you towards what you wish to happen. Believe it or not, uh, my dear pile number one. And this is why you have strong guidance here. It's the guidance here, the people who, not the people, the um, figures that guide Alice never tell her exactly what to do. They let her figure it out on them uh, by herself. So they're here to empower her, but not tell her what to do. And I feel that's the same energy from your guides. They want you to figure out, to figure it out. They want you to have the power to have like a remote control in your hands in situations that may look like they're out of your control to see how you are actually, in fact, capable of making it within your control. And look at the dichotomy of energies here between the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, where you think, oh, no, I might be losing it all. I I'm going to lack this with the Five of Pentacles. You are actually, through the guidance, going to have what you want, what you wish for with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. So what you want, uh, I heard wants you. So what you want, you're supposed to achieve. Don't be intimidated or afraid of any sort of power or a situation that may show you that it's stronger than you. Stand in your power. In fact, uh, Alice in Wonderland, at some point with the queen, she put down her foot and she said, I don't like that. That's not okay. So what may look intimidating may not really be intimidating if you are standing in your power and deciding to take control of it remember that there are others who have gone through it and they're like they know how to handle it now uh, and look beyond that with the hunger like want more than that not just to come out of it but what can you make use out of the situation to get towards what you want is the mind shift that your spirit guides want you to figure out on your own and that's why you explicitly have, I see and learn from my experiences. This is the third eye chakra, to see beyond what is going on. Because seeing beyond it will help you get what you want and more. Exactly what you wish for. So, yeah. Regard it as an opportunity to clear out the things that you're not seeing. And to find your balance, to find your power, and to achieve what you want is exactly what I see in your cards. Do not be shocked. Whatever you have started working on and building is not going to go in vain. It's a time that's allow you to rectify the, th the mistakes or the things that you haven't been really seeing or 
the direction that you were taking maybe to make it easier or faster and to do it right because doing it right is what's going to get you towards what you want because and the reason i say that is because remember when they were coloring the flowers in red after they planted it in white because they realized the queen wanted it in, in red all along that would get them caught so it's kind of like oh okay i shouldn't really have done it this way that's not going to work. Now I know. Next time I'm going to do it that way. What system can I place in today? See, you can see the lizard thinking here. What system can I place in today? Salamander, rather. Actually, this would be a salamander. Uh, let me read about this. What system can I put in today to take control of the situation? Take command of... Uh, my situation not let it take control of me let me check this card oh yes yes he goes through the chimney to save alice and look where it's ah oh, look at the position he goes through the chimney when alice was getting really bigger and out of hand in the rabbit's house he he, he was first sent to save alice so your cards keep saying don't worry you're going to be saved from the situation. Your cards are showing you that you're, you're going to be in a very favorable position that you will love with the King of Cups. You will be saved. No worries. Just because look at these Nautilus. They, they have eyes. It's kind of like see and you have an eye here as well. This is all for you to see something that you weren't seeing before which will help you move forward. So this situation is only meant to guide you and not to scare you. It's meant for you to study it better and to look at it from a new eye and to, to do it better. And it's also meant so that you can watch yourself be feel empowered in a situation where you could have felt scared rather than feel... Um, like it's taking control of you and that you are out of balance so four of swords first card stay calm and rest that's the first thing i've noticed in your reading and believe me pile number one it's all gonna go okay this this is the the main message in your cards it's all gonna dissipate very quickly and this is what i see in your reading if you're currently worried about something it's gonna go great don't worry about it my dear pile number one sending you a hug it's gonna go great <laughs> And if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pal number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Today we're taking a look at an open tarot reading, seeing what is meant to come out, what you're meant to hear right now. And if you've chosen your pile using your intuition, then your crystal is the beautiful Mukite Jasper, as well as the card Sulfur. Very, very interesting. And if you chose your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the zodiac signs for today are Libra, Cancer, and Taurus, as well as Scorpio. Welcome, guys, to your reading. If these are not... Uh, your zodiac signs please don't worry about it know that they have come into your reading if you cho chose it intuitively because they match the energies that are in the reading today all right for you right so this is actually a tarot deck that i study and today today what i want to say is today my niece was the one who chose all of the decks in fact i was actually going to make you pick a card through the decks and she's like no reem make them choose with this one <laughs> so the, i felt like everything here today was meant to be this she chose this one because it was already outside i was studying it and so in this deck we're gonna see the tarot card as well as the animal or the herb that is depicted within it all right so let's check out your other cards you have an overactive solar plexus card with I do uh, get narrow-minded. All right, let's see what this is about. Actually, I want to place your crystal here or here so that we have space. 
and you have a balanced root chakra card with i am in tune with nature interesting that instantly reminds me of salt i'll tell you why in a moment okay and i don't know why salt is significant maybe something uh, tastes bitter in your mouth at the moment something is bitter and you have movement so this is really cool in pile number one they have they have the eight of wands showing that a situation that they're in at the moment is going to dissipate quickly i feel kind of something very similar here in your reading with movement that something that tastes bitter uh, is about to dissipate and move so oh my god the three aspects are here the soul with the sulfur nature representing the body uh with the salt and movement oh i was gonna say this is nature both are natures uh, please forget about what i wanted to say all right you also have the two of pentacles yes i remember this card this is gonna be very interesting uh, actually this is showing that something is ripe for you to start eating hmm. all right let's take a look at your tarot cards before we go all over the place we'll have a full picture of what to expect one oh we have a lot here here so these are the cards that i see for your reading let's check them out you have the um justice card which is represented as an eight in this deck and in older decks as well you have the seven of cups The Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. Hmm, this is going to turn out to be very interesting. The Ten of Swords. Hmm. Wow, the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, the Queen of Pentacles. This is so cool. Like there's some sort of prediction here about something you're not seeing. Maybe a certain position that you're going to be in or something. Maybe these two look like from different cultures. Maybe you're actually traveling. And look at the traveling here. And you have the three of wands. Maybe you initially thought the traveling wasn't happening, but it is happening. I don't know. Let's wait and see. Wow. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. I will tell you this, if you're going through some difficulty at the moment, something's not going right, do know that it is going to work out beautifully for you. And there's so much coming out of the situation, as I can see here. I, I see money coming out of it. I see traveling or movement. I see something that's with the three of wands about to begin movement is about to begin a very fortunate movement that's about to begin for you after some tumultuous times or a difficult situation. Ah, wow. And you have the Hierophant with Duralex, Sedlex. Okay. So there are obviously something that has to do with the law or some legalities. And it is what it is because Duralex, Sedlex means um, the law may not be uh, nice. I remember the law may not be, the law may be harsh, but it is the law. And finally, you have the chariot very close to pile number one. They also have the chariot, which shows us that there is great movement after some sort of bitterness. So let's explore your cards deeper. Let's see what, why you need to hear this message right now. Maybe you're going through, definitely, you're going through some difficulties at the moment. Do you know, this reminds me of perhaps some of you wanted to travel and you're preparing some legal documents and they're like, no, you can't do this. You got to prepare this. You got to prepare that. And you got to be patient. And you felt like your plans weren't working out. And you can even see the waves here in the Seven of Cups. It's like you had a vision, a, an amazing dream. And some things 
maybe didn't work out exactly the way you wanted and you do see that it's actually in fact going to work out in your very best favor so if this is traveling if this is traveling then be patient and do what is needed you know the law is there for a reason um accept it and do what is necessary for you to travel or move so the movement doesn't need to be like actual traveling for you it could be uh, like moving to another home moving to another office moving to a bigger another position or something i see your cards telling you don't be closed minded I, i'm sorry i didn't mean that i mean don't be uh, closed um what's the word like really enclosing your options, like thinking this is the way it has to go. If it doesn't go like that, I won't be happy. Like uh, stay open to seeing what your different options are in regard to this situation, whatever it is. Uh, yes, maybe the rules or the laws or the things that are within your hands aren't exactly what you're wishing or hoping for at the moment. It might be bitter, but... Uh, do know that it will actually, just like the earth, it, it will grow into something that you like. It will come into balance. And here you have the advice of weighing your heart against your mind. It, your heart wants something in a certain way. Um, it, it's not the time to like suffer through it and go, no, that's not the way that I want it. Stay in tune with what's like with the natural cycles of nature or how things are moving don't go against it because if you go against it you may drown or feel disappointed stay in tune with it and see where it's going and how you can make use of it if like there's a strong force outside of your hands like the law for example or how the market is going or whatever the situation is don't go against it but rather like ride the wave see okay so that's the situation let's accept the things that we can't fix and see how we can make use of what i'm seeing for myself so that i can rise to the top to exact exactly where i want to be nine of pentacles shows that you are not only rising to the top but you're achieving exactly what you want i see you also there's an element of wealth here especially with the euro sa uh, sign symbol so i see a lot of luxury here going on for you i don't know what your cards are talking about but something is coming into full fruition for you this is the time for you to rise to the top to gain wealth some of you are definitely traveling what can i say it is a very fortunate time for you so make use of that energy and um it's kind of like for you to ride it not for you to hate it and this will only happen if you don't get stuck to how you feel but rather how you think about it because sometimes initially when things don't go our way we're we're not happy and we don't want that change it's not welcome but really when we think deeper about it we start seeing clearly the benefits and the better things that it's going to give us so stay open-minded is what i'm seeing stay open-minded stay grounded use the cycles of nature you know like winter is gonna come uh, or spring is gonna come or summer is gonna come whether we like it or not and instead of hating the winter we can enjoy the snow enjoy the skiing enjoy how uh, nature looks enjoy all the benefits that come with it you know the cozying up and the hot drinks and um yeah all the nice things that are coming with the winter instead of uh, hating it yeah the tranquility and so on but for you it's not going to be the winter this is a time of great fortune for you that's the only difference here uh, and so i see that i see an emphasis on the eyes your guides are telling you look very closely during these times of fortune um don't get your mind stuck because you might be wanting something far less than what your guides are trying to take you towards you know trying to let nature take you towards so open your eyes in fact this is the european hedgehog and 
As I've learned, they don't use their eyes to hunt. They use their senses, their hearing. and Yeah, their senses are heightened and they use their eyes for nocturnal navigation. So there is a great emphasis on open your eyes. In fact, in alchemy, the sulfur, that's why I kept saying sulfur, salt and <laughs> mercury. Because these are in alchemy, the tria prima for the soul, mind, soul, mind, and body. And you want all of them to be in harmony, specifically your soul. Your soul is trying to guide you somewhere. It knows where it's supposed to go. But maybe your earthly goals um, are a bit limited at the moment, making you only see something limited when your soul knows there there is more. So allow things to take its course. Look carefully into situations don't be disappointed easily and look with your soul like think how can I make use of the situation because it's absolutely ripe and it's meant to give me wealth it's meant to give me so many beautiful opportunities and just like the table with my niece moving it <laughs> it's like life is gonna you think you're gonna do something and life is gonna push you in a different direction allow it all while keeping your senses open, your mind open. Some things happen without us wanting it to happen the way we want. Keep your mind open. And within that context, see what you can make out of the situation. Because if you do, you are going to be very fortunate. So be flexible. You are moving in the direction that you want. You may get things here and there that you don't like. Just stay patient and flexible and know that it's happening for your best. And the most important thing is to see beyond it. How can I make use of this situation? And you will see. It's all going to move in your favor. And my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of fortune that's coming for you. And perhaps with all of the amazing things happening for you, you wanted it to go a certain way. Don't be disappointed. Don't think like you're leveling up. Do know that you are leveling. Uh, sorry, don't think that you're leveling down. You are definitely leveling up. With the seven of pentacles, just stay patient. Because I feel like you're going to embark on a new exciting journey, maybe even a new lands that you haven't stepped into before or maybe with a different experience or something. So allow life to show you um, something maybe even bigger than what you can see with your limited earth uh, senses at the moment. Allow your eyes to see there's so much more. And this is exactly what I see. You're going to be very fortunate, my dear pal number two. You're going to be experiencing amazing things in your life soon. <laughs> so be a bit patient. Let it take its course. Prepare what's needed to prepare. Accept it and make use of it is exactly what I see in your reading. All the best of luck with the amazing things that are about to happen in your life. <laughs> In fact, I do see another element here that harsh things that used to be in your life are now ending with the Ten of Swords. And you kind of feel like you're you're having a new fresh start and you're um, embarking on a journey that is exciting, fresh, almost feels like it's another world, almost. So, my dear pile number two, this was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it and I truly hope you enjoy that amazing uh, th these amazing experiences and exciting experiences that are about to happen in your life. May you always feel blessed and fortunate. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number two, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Hey, pile number three, welcome to your reading. Today we're doing an open reading, seeing what you are meant to hear right now, what you need to hear right now. It's open. We don't know what the topic is. It could be a prediction. It could be an advice. It could be, you know, showing you something that you're not seeing. It could be talking about something that may be coming. Who knows? We'll find out together. And if you've chosen your pile using your intuition, your crystal is the beautiful yellow aventurine and your card is the rotation card. It looks like you've got two. This is a deck, by the way, that I'm still studying. So 
we're gonna if i don't know a certain animal or an, or an herb in there we're gonna be reading it together these in today's reading all of the cards all of the decks have been chosen by my niece she said let wait let me i'm gonna pick it and and even when i was gonna put the decks for you to choose from the decks she said no uh, use this one so <laughs> i feel like it was all divine guided today really i didn't choose anything it just happened so yeah uh, by the way if you've chosen your pile using your zodiac signs then the signs for this reading in that case are pisces aries sagittarius and virgo if these are not your signs please do not worry about it at all do know that for you since you've picked it intuitively they are there in your reading because they match the energy that of the message that we're going to be seeing for you together Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at your oracle cards. So you have a balanced throat chakra card with I talk and express myself freely. Interesting. Okay. I kind of feel like rotation with the throat chakra, like it's your turn to talk or something, or your turn to build something or to express yourself or something. Let's find out. You have ah, fear the card fear fear although there is an opportunity to go to the other side it's like things on the other side seem so colorful while on your side it's all black and white hmm let's find out from where you're standing or i kind of see you in the middle hanging in the middle if you go back because you're afraid hold back because you're afraid um i think you'll be missing out on the opportunities and the color and the joy on the other side that you can experience so you have the six of swords yes and i know about this card the six of swords and uh, i feel like things are going to be blossoming for you so much in this endeavor i can't remember the name of this flower i'll check it now but it blossoms even in tiny flowers here. So it shows that so many things are actually starting to work out for you, especially in the beginning, if you start something that you're afraid of, that you're not seeing. Things are blossoming that you're not seeing. And all of a sudden, you're going to start seeing the whole thing come together, your expression or whatever it is that you are working on. That's the biggest guidance that I see so far. So take it slowly with the Six of Swords and it's it's happening there's a message of something happening here and you have the yellow adventuring be bold be bold and be expressive um uh, strong and be strong the two of cups how beautiful is that you see the mantises here <laughs> also connecting mantles all right, let's pull out your tarot cards and get a full message. Um, I feel like this is standing out for sure. On um, what it is that you are meant to hear right now. Finally, this one. Okay. So, my dear pile number three, you have... The Five of Wands. Uh, there's a call uh, in being strategic, to being strategic or something. Let's find out. You have the Magician. Wow. Magician, by the way, is a skilled person. So I see that you may be afraid to express something or to do something or create something. But the Magician is a skilled person, which shows that you do have the skills um, and your fears are just holding you back from allowing you to strategically use the skills that you have. Um, moving slowly will allow you to tap into that creativity and will allow you to move forward uh, into the direction that you want with great success with all of these colors. Ah, and also look at things from a broad perspective. All right, I think we need to wait. Wow, the four of wands, which I feel represent the little flowers that you're not seeing. Look at that, eight of pentacles, mastery. 
Yeah, it's definitely talking about some creative expression that you're trying to learn or something. Expressing yourself well. The Ten of Pentacles, love that. The Nine of Wands. Mm. Each scratch or each pain is going to count as part of your experience. So be bold with the Nine of Wands, just like the Yellow Aventurine, and go through it. Don't be afraid of the little scratches that is one day going to make you super experienced and super blessed with the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that, Seven of Swords. There is some sort of trickiness in what you're trying to learn or express. Uh, maybe it requires some sort of intelligence, which you do possess, or some sort of skill, which you do possess. Look at the figure holding the egg. You do possess that skill. Uh, and you're very near uh, mastery, even though you don't know it, because it looks like the little things that you've tried, being the magician here, has already made you blossom and change so much. The one thing that is holding you back from actually moving forward is your fears because without your fear, fears in the way you'll start to think about it strategically rather than emotionally and you'll be able to plan it better and you'll be able to see it as a smart game one that you can master in fact i do see that although you have people around you that have mastered it you will be the master like you will really stand out here in whatever your supposed to express create to because throat chakra is not just you know saying something it's how you express yourself it could be a research that you're working on or a book that you're writing or uh, uh, also a characteristic trait that you're, st you're you're learning or a language oh my god it could be a language uh, yeah and something is holding you back. Although all of your cards are saying take it slowly, strategically, without emotions, and you will so soon reunite with that, unite with what you wish to achieve. Four of Wands shows that you're very near to a huge milestone. So continue to go at it and build it slowly. Slow equals mastery. Slow will also allow you to see the tricks behind it because the five of wands and the seven of wands uh, are showing that the challenge has some sort of trickiness to it. I hope I didn't say five of swords. If I said five of swords, I didn't mean it. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> the five of wands, there is some sort of challenge, but one here that requires the mind. If you go slow, you'll be able, it's like you'll be able to understand it well and master it. It's like learning, you know, how in um, knitting, someone teaches you to do a certain trick with it and you're like what because I remember my grandmother used to knit and she was really good and I would watch her do things you know very quickly and I'm like what how did you do that <laughs> and she would slowly show me how it's done um yeah I remember these days so I believe here this matches your energy of slow while observing will and trying it out will allow you to finally do it like a master. In fact, I think you're going to master it better than everyone else around you. And you, ha you are surrounded by a group of blessed people who know how to do whatever it is that you're trying to learn or create. And you can clearly see here with the rings of the tree of the tree bark, as well as the scratches experience. The more you try, the more you'll gain experience. Don't let fear hold you back. And, and we'll be reading about this Two of Cups in a moment. And you have the Ten of Wands. And this Ten of Wands really talks about, first of all, something that's heavy in your heart. The emotions are making it heavy. But I see two things. First of all, you're near the end with the Ten of Wands because Ten of Wands is an end of a cycle. So you're nearly there. You're, you're nearly getting to the milestone that you want, feeling on top. You are nearly there. So with the flowers, this gives me the impression of, you know, flowers smell good. 
they're they're beautiful so it's kind of like enjoy that journey rather than going through it through suffering emotions fears will make you go through it with a heavy feeling if you open your mind perhaps towards seeing the advantages and, and doing it slowly and seeing it as a game that you can slowly master little by little because these are scratches thorn scratches yes they hurt of course but they're not the end of the world it's like um it's as you're trying things out they may not be easy they may feel heavy they may feel painful but you can do it and it's not that bad uh, one scratch after the other will give you the experience on how to do it so well and in your pile you're so lucky because in the beginning i thought you were beginning something but that's far from that you're like obviously blossomed and you so much has changed that we did establish and you've grown wings you've grown a lot you are skilled naturally and so just a, with a little bit of push you can shift your situation to being absolutely blessed and not just in the beginning of your journey yeah so i'm going to check the two of cups and i'll be back so these are, of course, our penguins, the Humboldt penguins. And they differ from the regular penguins because they live in warmer climates, I believe, in South America. Yeah, let me check. Um, South America, exactly. They live in warmer climates. So I, I see that for you, you're not going to go through this situation in the harsh way that most had to go through it. And I believe this is because you are already skilled. There's some sort of talent within you that just needs to be unleashed and to come out for you to see it. Uh, so that's why you're not going to go through that harshness uh, as may maybe others have gone through it, given that you're very skilled. Also, there is another advice, observing, right? Because here... The mantises, they, they're called the leaf mantises. Do you see? Because they mimic the leaves, uh, their environment, right? So this means, with the two of cups, you know, watch others. Connect with others and watch others. And people are definitely in your pile here. Connect with others, watch others, learn from your environment. They will be a great teaching lesson for you. So see what they're doing. Don't reinvent the wheel. See what they're doing. And look at the tips and tricks that they're doing. Note it down, perhaps, slowly but surely. And you're going to get there. You're about to reach your milestone. You're about to master this. Because you've already started off as a super skilled person. Super skilled person who's going to master something. Obviously, you have the biggest butterfly. There's no question about it. Because the talent, the butterfly is already there. The talent is already there. And so it requires a little bit of effort from your side to, to make it come into fruition. And I did say I was going to check for you the name of this flower in case you're interested. And I also don't remember the name of this bird, to be honest. That's what studying is all about. Let's check it again. <laughs> okay, so this flower is called the Yerba Mansa. All right. Now, this bird is the green heron, and it, it's very interesting. I just noticed something as I was rereading about it again. It's found among the wetland outskirts and shallow waters hidden from predators. Then taking advantage of their small stature and hunting while they hide. It's important to be resourceful while also taking cover. So in my opinion, this is saying that maybe you feel a bit intimidating by whatever it is you're doing. Um, watch, first of all, watch others, like uh, stay first out of it, watch, and then take advantage of the skills that you have to be able to play the game or to be able to join in whatever this community that you're in that is doing. Um, if you're like a student, see what other students are doing, watch and learn and do your own great research. Uh, if you are in you have your own business, for example, watch what the market is doing closely and carefully, learn from the best, and then you'll find yourself being very lucky because you're talented and you're going to be able to use that advice to your advantage to do great things and so on. 
So your whole pile is talking about great creative expression. Let it out. You're skilled. Learn from the best. You know, when you're afraid, just take a step back. Learn how it's done. And then don't be afraid to go and get a scratch or two to apply it. And see the feedback. May not work well. That's okay. Next time, you can do it in a much better way. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't work. Uh, and take good note. This scratch is valuable. It's what's going to give you the experience that you need. For you to do it so easily, you'll feel like you're on top of the world. And it's going to give you so much, this expression. It's going to change even who you are and turn your talent into true skill and mastery. And my dear pile number three, this is what I see for you on what you're meant to hear right now as we're taking a, as we're doing your open reading today. This is what came out for you. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavor. endeavor. I know you're going to do great. Look, your cards are saying you're meant to do great. So go out for it. Get what you deserve. And if you're worried just take it slowly and observe this is what i see for you i wish you the best of luck and if you've enjoyed your reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload and my dear pile number three i'll catch you in the next reading bye